<laughs> now welcome back to my channel you guys today i'm teaming up with janet the janet collection of course the details will be in my description box below um this is their straight 24 inch snatch and wrap ponytail this is a synthetic ponytail um, but i'm starting from scratch literally showing you how to kind of get your hair to a sleek bun so i'm using this new edge control called bomb collection and the style factor found these at the my local beauty spot store i guess it's edge booster but it's the uh, purple one it doesn't matter what color you use and then of course i always moisturize my hair with um coconut oil so there is that usually what i like to do is go ahead and kind of already have my hair molded up into um a ponytail so while it's while it's still wet or really really damp i go ahead and put it into a high ponytail that way um it can kind of just prepare itself to already start to be stretched because when it's extremely wet i don't like to do my ponytail so i'll probably wait maybe about 10 minutes just so that the edges kind of start to air dry on its own and then that makes it a lot easier to apply edge edge controls especially the ones that are a little bit more waxy this is going to be extremely important for girls that are more like a four i'm gonna say maybe four b four c um just to make sure that you're able to really get a sleek ponytail without having to use so much like product and gels and the combinations of things so the edge booster I will use for, you know, my baby hair um, area and then the bomb edge control because it, it is a bit more waxy. I'm using that all over. So taking a five tooth comb and not trying to necessarily detangle my hair, but more so just make sure that there are no snags or bumps along the ponytail. And then once I pretty much get everything smoothed up, I'll go through with my detangler brush to uh, pretty much just get the ponytail as close to my scalp as possible. So um, I will be doing another video on more of like a pineapple look. Uh, uh, this is going to be the base to that video um, if you guys needed that. So I definitely hope that this helps you guys out. But um, you definitely want to kind of give your hair time to kind of be molded down and just really, really tight. So if you guys have any issues with the ponytail, trust me, I get it. <laughs> My arms get tired as well. It is very, very tough to do if you have thick hair. But the ponytail holder that I'm using is one of those like double, I guess it's more like a headband elastic band uh one and then i double it just to uh give my hair a little bit more stretch and breathing room because the other ones just kind of pop or they feel extremely like just too tight for my hair so there is that so now that i have everything pretty much sleeked up that alone i think took me about 10 minutes realistically just because i mean it's really a process it really is popping on the ponytail is probably about maybe one or two minutes long it doesn't really take much but Getting your hair kind of prepped and things like that can be a bit much. But like I said, there's a part two to this video um, with a completely different type of ponytail just to kind of show you where you can kind of pop it off and completely switch up your look if you want. So go ahead and tie this down. I have a satin scarf. I think I got this from one of the hair companies uh, probably about a year ago. Um, and I pretty much just use it just to tie down my edges. And then I'm going to take this lovely opportunity to go ahead and do a quick face. Not really much to say here. I use the same products that I literally always use. Um, like my NARS and stuff like that but those details will be posted later um just to kind of give you a quick look at the ponytail I am gonna go ahead and actually just pop it on before doing my makeup so it comes in this like little encasing or the mesh um kind of covering just to protect the hair it did have more of like a human hair feel which I appreciate it was very easy to kind of comb through but you guys know with synthetic hair it will get tangled like over time so you want to think about this but again, the pony sale is under $10. Like literally I think it was like $8.95. It is on sale right now. So you don't want to miss that. It comes with, um, of course, combs on the other side. Well, one comb on the other side. And then kind of like this Velcro material. Um, and then on the opposite side of that, you will actually see where there's like, I guess, the the opposite to the velcro which allows it to kind of stick so there is a removable tab there of course you want to save that piece so it doesn't get tangled in the hair over time and yeah you have that little end that will literally allow you to snatch your ponytail and wrap it around with ease so um you don't have to kind of follow some of the other traditional um ways to install a ponytail that i've shown you before with like the tracks this kind of just allows you um especially if you're like a beginner to kind of just pop it on and go it's really really easy you guys can see I have my little bun with my own hair already kind of formed. I literally just popped in that clip in the front and um, kind of placed the rest of the hair around that ponytail, pulling it really, really tight, as tight as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the, I guess, covering for the actual um, Velcro area. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pull it really tight. And you want to make sure you get it as close as possible to the base of your ponytail. That way, obviously, you don't want it coming off or anything like that. And go ahead and just kind of wrap the hair around. So this process is really, really easy. 
super simple straight to the point and then just to go ahead and secure this area here I'm gonna go ahead and take some hairspray which is my uh, gotta be glue spray just to go ahead and go over all the areas of the hair down the entire shaft And I'm using my hand just to go ahead and smooth everything down and just slowly wrap it around. You don't have to move too fast. If you guys are familiar with the Gotta Be Glue Spray, y'all know it gets super sticky, super tacky. You don't need a blow dryer. Like, this is one of those heat-free ponytails, truly. So I don't um, intend on straightening my hair for a ponytail, like, ever, unless my hair is already straight. I will never understand why people are doing that. Like, I get it. It looks nice but it's just unnecessary heat damage in my opinion now don't judge me if like a month from now y'all see me do it on my channel you won't but maybe on somebody else's head but I'm just saying it, it's very pointless but nevertheless anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of wrap this all around um and keep in mind ponytails only last you about maybe three days like let's be honest for it to look extremely fresh like you're not really gonna get a full weeks worth of a ponytail out at least you I don't know I guess some people are making it work but I'm, I'm one of those people that like my hair to look really fresh and I feel like this ponytail allows me that versatility to be able to say all right I'm popping my ponytail on all right I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and I'm able to do this in under 20 minutes like to me that is amazing um and you guys can see the length it is a 24 inch I'm 5'2 I don't know if that matters to you and uh, the ends are kind of pre-stretched so it's not like a blunt cut across which y'all know I appreciate but getting into the makeup I'm kind of starting off with just kind of uh, setting my face with all the powder and I'm going to be using Anastasia Dip Brow just kind of filling my brows a little bit using NARS I believe this is the color caramel to go ahead and just outline my brows and then I'm also going to be taking the Fenty um, or not Fenty I'm sorry my NARS foundation um, just to pretty much go all over my face NARS concealer in I didn't use Keiko this time. I think I used um, Biscuit and then also, what was the other one? Biscuit and Caramel. Yeah, the combination of the two. That's pretty much what I'm using. Or what's it? Syracuse. Hmm, now, now I'm wondering. But that is that. Taking my Beauty Blender uh, and just kind of carving out my cheeks with uh, some contour powder. This is my Fit Me powder. It's actually like a foundation powder, but I use it to contour with for myself. Taking my, uh, oh, I can't remember who that, who is that by. Y'all know the brand. <laughs> But anyway, I'm using that blusher just to give my, my cheeks a little color and my eyelids. And then taking, um, I believe this is a Maybelline in the color Nude, uh, kind of gloss just to go over my lips. Taking a little bit of that Wild and Radiant um, Glow palette, which they don't even sell anymore, y'all. I've had it for so long, but... Anyway, just go ahead and brighten up my face, taking a little mascara, boom, use your favorite one. And I'm just making my bottom lashes really wispy because I'm going to be applying the Ardell Wispy Lashes. And they have already had mascara on them from the last time I wore them. <laughs> so um, it's going to just kind of match with this kind of soft glam look, nothing too, too crazy. So makeup look in under 15 minutes, y'all. I cannot believe I edited this entire video and still got it under 10 minutes. Like, let's just hooray, hooray. <laughs> let's just hooray for that. But uh yeah anyway now's the time for the big reveal we're gonna go ahead and remove this i actually should have let it sit for maybe like five more minutes but it's cool we got a nice sleek pony now you guys do see some waves that are gonna peek through and that is normal but that's actually the reason why i opted in doing the second ponytail so definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already thank you so much janet for collection for reaching out to me um i'm definitely enjoying this look let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thank you so much for being a part of the sunflower gang comment all that down um, below as well make sure you're following me on instagram so you can see all my cute posts i love you stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies